Look what happened to my foot! Ouch! What happened? I was playing barefoot with my friends and someone stepped on huh. it. I'm so sorry, Curtis. You know, wearing shoes while you play can protect you from injury. But if you think playing sports barefoot is risky, just imagine what it would have been like for a Roman soldier to go to war without his shoes on. I learned that Roman soldiers put hobnails on the bottom of their sandals so they wouldn't trip and fall when they were running and fighting, kind of like cleats. With those sandals, they were ready for battle. Does the armor of God that Paul wrote about have shoes too? Yes. Ephesians 6, 14 through 15 says you need to put on not just the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness, but also, as shoes for your feet, the readiness given by the gospel of peace. Gospel means good news, so why is it the good news of peace? Because the good news is that you can have peace with God. The Bible says you were God's enemy because of your sin. You thought, said, and did things that go against him and his perfect hey! law. You were at war with him. When I was yelling at my mom, I was at war with God? Yes, whenever you sin against other people, you are sinning against God too. Because God is just and fair, he punishes sin. That punishment is death, being separated from God forever. But Jesus took the punishment for my sins when he died on the cross. Yes. Romans 5, 1 says, Since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Being justified means that God takes your sins off your record when you trust in Jesus as your Savior. Because of what Jesus has done, God sees His righteousness in you instead of your sin. Even though you may still sin, you are no longer God's enemy. The Bible says you are one of His chosen people his child, and his friend. You are on his side, standing in the spiritual battle with him. So Jesus died to make peace between me and God, and I have peace with God now. Ooh, what a relief. Then how do I put on the shoes of the readiness, uh... The readiness given by the gospel of peace? Yeah, that. Good question. You put these shoes on by reminding yourself that you have peace with God because of what Jesus has done for you. Hmm, I know. I could write that I have peace with God and that He loves me on a note card and then put it by my bed. That'll help me remember. That's a great idea. And you can ask God to help you be ready to share the good news of peace with others. If you've trusted in Jesus as your Savior, remember who you are, God's child, God's friend, and one of His chosen people. The enemy, Satan, will want you to forget that those things are true and important. He doesn't want you to be ready to share the good news of peace with others. But telling someone about what Jesus did to save them from their sin is the greatest thing you could do for them. If they decide to trust in Jesus as their savior, they will have peace with God too. So, I put on the shoes by remembering that I have peace with God, and I use them by sharing the good news of peace with others. Well done, Curtis. We've got three pieces of the armor of God left. Can you tell me about the next one? Please, please. That'll just have to wait until next time. Please.